Hello everyone, uh, Scott Bloom here. I am going to show you how to uh, add uh, PlayStation uh, emulated games to Steam. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of uh, folders here, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance. You can add any emulator you want and have the emulator run any game you want right through Steam. So, I'm this is going to be an example of uh, Enhanced PlayStation Emulator or EPSXE. Let's browse. Let's go to our uh, EPSXE folder which I have in C Emulator Sony EPSXE. I also have uh, PCSX2 and I will get to that uh, maybe if uh, enough people like this one and want to see w uh, what goes on for the PSX2 so all right, let's uh, open up EPSXE add selected programs now EPSXE is in our uh, regular games library so and if we just run it now then all we get is that so let's kill that to uh, actually get the game to run let's uh, go to notepad as you can see here I have uh, some switches ready uh, the no GUI switch which will uh, kill the well, actually, it won't act entirely bring up the GUI, so it'll just uh, run the game without it. Uh, dash F, that's uh, fast mode, meaning uh, the bio screen won't run. And this here is uh, what, what you need to uh, load your game. And then just put in the... Uh, path of your uh, game image. In this case I'm going to be using Lunar. Okay, so we want to copy that. Go into properties and paste it in there. Then you can rename it. close and when you run it uh, uh yeah when you run it the game the emulator will come up okay so uh that's all good so let's uh set the category to Sony PlayStation there you go. I've got a uh, whole bunch. Oh, well, not a whole bunch, but. Okay, so thank you for watching, and uh, let me know uh, if this helped you or if you thought this little tutorial could use some improvement. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.